In this video, I'll help you answer frequently asked Excel interview question. How to split context data into the first and last name using Microsoft Excel. Excel provides numerous tools for you to cleanse the data. One of these tools is text to column feature of Excel. For example, you might realize that purchaser names contains both first and last name and it's all contained in one cell. Text to column feature might be helpful to separate first name from the last name and put them into the separate columns. To do that, you might consider renaming the column. One of the more appropriate names might be first and then last. To use text to column, you can select the column. In our case, it's column D. Go to data tab and click text to column feature. The text here is space delimited. So we select delimited option on the first screen and then select space on the second screen. Then we click next. We can assign the type of the column for the future converted values and we can select text for both columns and then we can click finish. And it will ask us if we want to replace the column because we created an extra column E, which is empty. We can select OK option in this case. And you can see now column D contains first name and column E contains last name. If this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. For links mentioned in the video, please check the description. To learn more on the topic, please make sure to check out my eBooks and online training courses. To stay connected, please make sure to subscribe via email and follow on social media. All the best on your Excel interview and assessment test. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.